everyone, Mom's VP, and welcome to the month of Christmas, or more specifically, Christmas Day, which is the day that I'm hopefully getting this video out, right? Right? I made it on time, and nothing, nothing's gonna change that, right? I, I, I didn't make any kind of a mistake, right? I hope you're enjoying your Christmas, doing whatever you do to enjoy it, whether it be, you know, making gingerbread houses, or... Opening presents, I mean, of course, everyone does that, right? Everyone opens presents. Or, you, you know, whatever, whatever your traditions are, I hope you're all, or you're all out there doing it and enjoying your, yourself this, this lovely Christmas day. Personally, I like to spend my Christmas watching all those Christmas movies like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, The Grinch, uh, Elf, uh, all those Christmas specials on TV, and, of course, Frosty the Snowman. Rest of the Snowman is my favorite Christmas movie of all time, and even though I can clearly see through all of its flaws today, I still annually watch it every year to revisit my, all my childhood memories. In fact, every year, me and my family put this Frost of the Snowman decoration thing, or it's not exactly a Frosty, but, you know, it's a snowman, and we put it out right outside of our house, and, you know, it represents all, well, I don't know about everyone else in my family, but for me, it definitely represents all of our Christmas and ha Christmas memories, all, all those happy times that we spent together. So I thought it would be fun, hey, how about this year, I put it up with this with you guys. That would be a fun thing to do. I actually got the box right here. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty simple looking snowman, but this simple looking snowman, Oh man, I, I love this thing. You put it up every year, it breaks a little bit, and we have to put it back together, and it's kind of a funny thing in our family where every year we have to fix it again and again in order to, you know, keep it in condition because it's made out of glass, which is kind of, which is kind of like, more not glass, but, but plastic. And so it's really so it's really cheap. It's made up in China, so it's definitely going to break one day, but that day will not be today. So yeah, come on. Come on, guys, let's go. Let's go put this up. Never mind. So the movie starts out and why in the world are all these kids at school? The narrator just said it was the day before Christmas. And as any child can tell you, there's a certain magic to the very first snow. Especially when it falls on the day before Christmas. For when the first snow is on Wait, so for having a Christmas party the day before Christmas? Who in the world has a Christmas party in school the day before Christmas? It's not even a good party considering the only thing the school bought was a hor was a horrible magician. That sucks. That is his entire job. And so I put the magic eggs into my hat. The eggs have turned into. <laughs> No wonder this is how these kids react to being let out. Of course, as the story goes, the kids come together and create a snowman. A snowman that defies the laws of physics, but a snowman, nevertheless. You know, now that I think about it, these kids might not be on Santa's little nice list this year. They probably stole the broomstick and smoking pipe from the janitor or something. In fact, just because the magic hat lands on Fry's head and brings him into life, that justifies the bunny is stealing it back? The narrator even agrees. Now, of course, the hat did belong to Frosty and the children. 
that point must be made very clear. Therefore, Hocus Pocus was entirely in the right in what he was about to do. But it was never theirs in the first place. The magician should have the right to do whatever he wants with his hat. Oh yeah, also... Nostalgia! For some weird reason, after Frosty comes to life, he already knows how to, how to speak English, how to juggle, how numbers work, knows what a parade is, and even knows what a thermometer is. Is there a thermometer around here? Over there in the wall. Why? Oh, I was afraid of that. Yeah, when he walks to the village, the village with a stick in his hand. He has no idea what a streetlight or a lamppost is. What's the logic there? Right. Didn't you see that traffic light? What's a traffic light? Up there on the lamppost. What's a lamppost? Come on, kids. Follow the leader. Wait, he said follow the leader. Why, 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 why are you playing leapfrog? You're the leader, right? You're the one in front, so... So you say follow the leader, and they don't follow you because they don't because they're going over you. That kind of makes the whole point of both games. So in case you've never heard something before, it's getting a warm outside, so Frosty's starting to melt. Oh no! Frosty somehow knows what, what the North Pole is. And knows it will be the only place you can go where you won't ever melt, because, you know, it's cold and everything. What's a lamppost? Oh, you want a ticket, wise guy? I'd love one. To the North Pole, please. Huh? You've got to excuse him, sir. You see, he just came to life, and he doesn't know much about such things. Oh, well, okay, if he just came to life. Move along! A silly snowman. Once they come to life, they don't know nothing. Come to life? So the kids decided to go to the train station so they can take Frosty to the North Pole. We'd like a ticket to the North Pole, please. Hmm. Well, it, it North Pole? Oh, yes, ma'am. Route you by the way of Saskatchewan, Hudson Bay, No Alaska, the Klondike, and Aurora Borealis. Gotta make a change at Nanook of the North Bay. <laughs> That'll be three thousand dollars and four cents, including tax. Oh, but we don't have any money. No money, no ticket. So after that happens, we decide to stow away on a fridge car. And Karen stupidly enough says that she could come along as long as she's home in time for dinner. Are you coming to the North Pole too? I'm sure my mother won't mind. As long as I'm home in time for supper. But look at how late it is. If the price of the ticket is three thousand dollars and four cents. How many miles would that translate to? Because I'm sure that would be a lot of miles. Oh my gosh, I think this guy is evil. He's literally saying, think nasty, think nasty, what? What? Who does that? He has to jump off the train so Karen doesn't freeze to death. And they find a bunch of animals decorating a tree, somehow, and ask them to make a fire, somehow. Hocus, speak to the animals. See if they won't all pitch in and build a fire for Karen. Well, the next time I'm lost in the forest, I guess I could just scream out for help in the middle of the woods and just talk to the animals, and apparently I'll be totally fine. That's kind of how it works, apparently. Uh, okay, this, I was like, what, this was a mistake. Uh, it's kind of 
cold out here. And, mm, mm. Okay, Mr. Bear. Trust the snowman said it's fine. Trust animals. Can we cuddle so that you're not so warm? It, I'll, I'll come on. I'll, I'll give you a big old hug. Aw, oh, man. That's so nice. Wait. That's a baby bear. Oh, hey, Mommy. I'm just coming up with your, what, with your baby bears because it's, it's so late. <laughs> Frosty and Hocus Pocus gets the idea to call someone for help after careful consideration. Since the animal were decorating the tree somehow to try to get Santa Claus to come down in the first place, they figured that Santa would be able to take Frosty to the North Pole and carry him back home. Then the horrible magician guy comes out of nowhere and blows out the fire that was keeping the girl alive. What's wrong with you? You're a murderer then. Well, that's an attempt of murder. Oh my gosh. Give me that hat. <clears throat> Get on my shoulders, Karen. You see, Frosty, since he was made of snow and snow, was the fastest belly whopper in the world. <laughs> it's got to be all warm and snug inside for those Christmas flowers to grow so beautiful. Let's go in. Oh, but... but you will melt. Just a little. I'll only stay inside for a minute. Besides, I've been meaning to take off a little weight anyway. Your mouth didn't move. Santa had arrived, but was it too late? Hocus explained the situation to Santa, who, as you know, speaks a fluent rabbit. And when they didn't find Frosty and Karen on the hill, Santa followed Frosty's pad in the snow to the greenhouse. But when they got inside, a terrible sight met their eyes. Wow. Wow, this is so sad. Listen to how human this is. It's just, this girl can really cry and sound like she's crying. They were too late. Wait! Before Santa gives this big heartwarming speech that he's about to make, obviously. I must say something. Oh my gosh, Karen, you're a hobbit. Your feet are as big as your entire torso. Too late? Why, nonsense. Oh, don't cry, Karen. Frosty's not gone for good. You see, he was made out of... Inconsistent. Christmas snow and... Inconsistent. Christmas snow can never disappear completely. <laughs> Oh, it sometimes goes away for almost a year at a time and takes the form of spring and summer rain. But you can bet your boots that when a good jolly December wind kisses it, <laughs> it'll turn into... Inconsistent. ...the Christmas snow all over again. Yes, but... he was my... Inconsistent, inconsistent, inconsistent... <laughs> Just watch. Wait a minute. I want that hat, and I want it now. Don't you dare touch that. And just what are you going to do about it? If you so much as lay a finger on the brim, 
I'll never bring you another Christmas present as long as you live. Never? Never. No more trick cards or magic balls or... No more anything. Oh, that's not fair. I mean, we evil magicians have to make a living, too. Now you go home and write, I am very sorry for what I did to Frosty a hundred zillion times. And then maybe, just maybe, mind you, you'll find something in your stocking tomorrow morning. Huh, so he's an evil magician? Say, you know, why would you ever give him any presents at all? He's evil. He should be on the naughty list. You know what? They should all be on the naughty list. The teachers should be on the naughty list for having kids come to school the day before Christmas, even though that's not even a thing that happens anymore. And also hiring an evil magician. Karen ran away from home helping a complete stranger that was just born that morning. Frosty basically kidnapped these children for a day. It almost got one of them killed. And Santa himself left her on the roof where she could easily slip off and die. Yes, I just said it. Santa should be on on the naughty list. Like everyone else in this movie, because nothing makes any sense! So all in all, what do I think about this movie? I think that there's a lot of logic stuff that doesn't make any sense. Why am I talking like a cowboy? I have no idea. Well, personally, I still love it. I, no matter what happens, I've always loved this movie. It's just my childhood and everything. Yeah, I won't. Uh, I don't want. I don't. I will not let my opinion, my personal opinion of this movie, shatter. So yeah, personally, I think it's a ten. But I can understand the inconsistencies, the weird animation, the fact that basic that the lip sync basically never, ever matches up with all the weird parts where they don't even talk at all. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know, it's a, in all honesty, I think that it, I think it's a 5, wait, or not a 5, okay, not a 5, I think it's a 6 out of 10, in, in terms of animation and the actual quality of the film, but, in my personal opinion, in my perf, in my personal opinion, it's a perfect 10. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you like it, then get that like button, if I punch right in the face, so let me know that you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to my channel for weekly gameplay videos and hit that notification bell to make sure that I never miss out on a video. Let me know in the comment section right down there what games you want to play or what games you want me to review. I think I'm going to be more of a review channel from now on. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Say Nara. If you like this video and would like to see more, then subscribe to my channel for weekly gameplay videos. Click here to see a related video, and click on here to see a video that has been specially picked out just for you.